sucks, Dad. No. Oh, baby icky. All right. Morning, morning. It is August 25th. And we are going to do our Nero Hero into Grant Marais today. Um, we got anywhere from 15 to 16 miles on the day to get into town. Um, and then we're going to do as much town chores as humanly possible. Um, uh, something we have to do is laundry. Haven't done sock laundry in like two weeks. Um, something have to do is shower. Going to try to do some internet chores. Gonna have to do a resupply and then after all that we have about 10 more miles to get oh bug in the face to get to our camp spot in pictured rocks so a smaller mile day sitting anywhere at like 26 or 27 miles um because i don't know what the extra change is on all of that mileage so a smaller mile day but we're gonna to wanna to use at least four or five hours of the day for town. So we're moving a little earlier, um, not at the 5 a.m. that we thought, because as you saw that campsite, it was just so peaceful, so beautiful, um, just hanging out there and listening to the waves in the morning. And then, yeah, really peaceful. But when you're packing up, the sand flies are intense. Woo, baby. They destroyed my legs. Um, so, I don't know. We'll probably get into town anywhere from noonish, um, right around there. We're on something called the Blind Sucker Pathway. And it certainly feels like that sometimes, doesn't it? All right, we're gonna go places. So the blind sucker pathway may have suckered us in blindly, but the tread is super good. Um, this is chewable mile tread. You can actually set a pace and just go. Um, so even though we're blind suckers, we're quick blind suckers. We're lightning fast blind suckers. We're zip zap blind suckers. We're zoom zoom blind suckers. Um, Magpie may say I'm a sucker more than she is, but I like to think that we're that we're equal amount of suckers right now. Baby, yeah. are you a blind sucker? I guess so. Am I a blind sucker? Yeah. Are we all blind suckers? Yeah. What says there's a sucker born every minute? I don't know who that is. Oh, he's a zookeeper. Guy. Yeah. Well. Make me play yes. Well, that saying that there's a sucker born every minute only applies to when people actually have showers more than once every six days. No. If you're, if I mean, y'all saw my feet yesterday. You tell me if you want to suck those toes or not. Aw. I mean, it's not quite dirty, but... Baby, should we do, should we do toe stuff? Yeah. No. <laughs> Foot play? No. I'm not into that. No. It's the festive time, and this does not constitute the festive time. Oh, uh, if y'all don't know what I'm referring to, go back to yesterday's, the very end of yesterday's videos. You'll see an awesome sunset, but you'll also see what feet look like when socks haven't been cleaned in two weeks and you've been stepping hard miles. Okay, well you're the one who forgot to do your sock laundry, so. Well, no, I pissed on them. Yes, I know. That's how I clean my socks. Uh-huh. No, don't clean your socks with piss. It doesn't work. No, it's bad. Baby, can we do foot stuff? No. Just a little bit of foot stuff? No. Just a morning foot stuff then? No, thank you. Okay. 
We do stuff off camera. No. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Just a little bit of things off camera. No. Fine, we film. Baby, stop it. You don't want to film it then? Okay. Even a blind sucker finds a river once in a while. Nope, it's a river. If you look at the maps, it's a river. Um, so yeah, even a blind sucker will find one. Yeah, you're right. If you're blind enough, you can even walk into it and then find it by just knowing you're wet at some point. So, that's fun. Alright, we go places. Oh, there's a fun little map type um, looking line. You'll know it when you see it. Um, when you come into this little loop on the blind sucker pathway, there's um, it's a fun geographical, topographical. It's a fun top, it's a fun topographical little fun thing. I don't know how else to describe it besides that. You'll notice exact. Look at the maps when you're on the blind sucker pathway, and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, we go places. So the blind sucker trail may in fact treat you like a sucker because if you look at the maps, um. You just do loops on the way into Grand Marais. <laughs> this road, not that way, that way, technically runs into Grand Marais, but it wants you to do a lot of loops and le lips and bobbles and bibbles and wiggles and waggles and toggles and taggles. And ooh, I wanted to go another way, but I'm gonna I'm gonna refrain. Um, yeah, it wants you to do a bunch of loops before you hit Grand Marais, before you get that sweet sucker of uh, town relief and shower relief to wash all the salt crystals out of my drawers that are making interesting uh, salt sculptures upon my body. And if y'all don't know, it's not one of those sculptures that you build. It's more like embossing um, the sculptures upon my body. If y'all don't know what embossing is, Google it. It's when you like engrave and like chew out to make the art. You don't build it. I think that's what embossing is. I might have to Google it. I don't got G's until town, so I can't. <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> All right, no, it's a uh, good morning. We got about like, eh, I don't know, 12, 13, somewhere in there until Grand Marais. We go back up this way, touch our tips to the lake shore, then come back down. And then I think we have like three or four miles of road walk ultimately to get there. But for now, we walk the trail. All right, I really hope it's just the screen on my end and not yours. Um, but that makes it like all foggy. But we found the shoreline again. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a foggy, humid, body heat type of day again. So we touched the shoreline. We kind of run along this for a mile or so. And then we cut back down towards Grand Marais. And then I think that's when we begin our road walk. There might be a little bit of trail left, but this is uh, as far out as we go. Then we go all the way back inland. So we're doing stuff. We're walking places. We're moving and grooving. Magpie said it's only a half mile. Magpie says it's two and a half. I don't know. Once you stop seeing the water, you're, you're no longer along the shoreline. That's what I heard. All right, wow, it's gonna be a warm day. So, shoreline, right there. Um, you're just deep enough off of the shoreline though that you're gonna ride a couple of uh, baby roller coaster climbs along the way into town. Um, 
don't know exactly what mile this is. A mile 380, Magpie says, ish. Okay, we're on top of it. So, get ready for a few, a little bit of roller coasters um, along the way into town. It is but way better than soft sand. About 0 0.2 to 0.3 before the trail turns away from the shoreline. You got this pretty baller camp spot. Um, so if you want to get closer to Grand Marais and your miles link up that way, you got this pretty baller spot right here. Um, I don't know, I would say it's seven to eight miles from Grand Marais. It's um, on the tail end of the last loop it touches the shoreline and cuts back towards the road into Grand Marais. So if your miles link up correctly, you want to get closer to the town and you want an awesome camp spot, you know where it is. All right, so just like where we camped last night, there's an awesome camp spot right at the turn from when it turns away from the shoreline um, and you join this two track. This one might be Occupado and that's why I didn't film it. There was, in fact, a Jeep down there. Um, so you can try to come here, but just know that someone may have driven up. The one that I pointed out, the clip before, is purely on single track, so you might have better luck with that. Um, but you can try what you want to do. All right, we're going places. Different paint. Um, again, it's pretty easy to follow the blue blazes. Every so often, the paint color in this loop has shifted. And even in this little video, you can see it. So, blue blaze there, dark blue. And then, this is a plastic piece of blue blaze. So, easy to follow. Follow the blue blazes. So many blazes, so little time. Go, 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 go. Little McDrizzy loop. What? It's a little McDrizzy loop. Okay. okay. North Country, the light blue line. Yes, indeed. We're somewhere within the loops upon loops upon loops. There's a, sh a lot of loops. We're here. I found out where we were. Yeah. So, we, as you saw, there was also that car in the backdrop of the film. So, we're walking along the river, and there's like a dirt road through the trees that we hadn't really seen. Yeah, so, we didn't really notice it. Yeah, so we didn't notice it. And then we both hear like a huff like a horse, like he was like, oh. and we're like, wait, what? And we look over and there's this dude just walking his dog. And we were just like chit chat in a way, like oblivious to that there was somebody else there. So that was fun. Um, we're gonna walk this for a minute. Trail goes back in right yonder. And then we're gonna go walk into Grand Marais. We're getting close, about four or five miles maybe, somewhere within there five miles and it is a little after 10. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go places. We're eating good, we're eating good mileage. Go baby, go. Oh. You step right in the pine cones? I didn't step right in the pine cones, you stepped right in the pine cones. No, I didn't. Sucker river loop, stop calling us that. Yeah. So mean. We live in town, but we'll go to town. Mm -hmm. All right, if you just can't wait until um, Grand Marais, 
as soon as you pop out onto the road walk into Grand Marais, there's a little store. Um, it has a little coffee um, kind of sign. So don't know what it has exactly, but I'm assuming a little corner store. Probably not much, but if you just can't wait, um, about two miles before Grand Marais. So well, we're trying to eat these miles right now though. Let's go. Hey, Shadow Constantine. Are you hungry? I'm hungry. Shadow Constantine hungry? Oh yeah, I think we're both hungry. Shadow Constantine, it looks like you could put on some weight. Yeah, yeah, real Constantine, I could. Oh God, I'm really talking to myself now. Whew, time to get done this trail, huh? Whew. Talking to my shadow, not a good sign. No, not fully crazy yet. I haven't talked to corn. If you watch my Ice Age videos, that's uh, my cutoff point. Once I start talking to cornfields, that's when I'm like, okay, been on trail for too long. Talking to my shadow, fun. A little crazy, yeah, but fun. All right, all right, all right. We are about a mile away from the grocery store. Um, pretty much town is town, it's not that big. So our plan, go to the grocery store, resupply until Marquette. So that would be today. Tomorrow we got a monster day pushing through Munsing. Then tomorrow, so second half of today, two full days, and then a Nero in. Um, so easy resupply, but um, we've been pushing hard. We've been pushing hard all in Michigan. Um, pretty much Ohio, we were pushing hard, but it seemed we weren't making our miles um, averaging as much. But Michigan, we're just crushed McDivlin. Um Pretty much not going below 30s besides those three days, and I tried to describe it in an Instagram post, but um, there were those three days coming out of Petoskey that were sub 30s um, for different reasons. So the first day was a 27 mile day, and that was because leaving town, we were okay with that. Second day was getting over Mackinac Bridge, so we had logistics to handle there. Um, technically, it was a 32 mile day if you counted the bridge miles, but we didn't count them since we haven't walked them yet, so it was another 27 and some change. And then the day after that, once we, our first day in the UP was um, like 20 miles, which was by far our shortest day in a long time, but that was to link all our miles up um, for pictured rocks coming up here. Um, because we had to get a permit for there. We couldn't camp into Kwame State Park without reservation so like we had to do a bunch of logistics so there was reasons for those but besides that stretch right there when we were handling logistics pretty much if it wasn't a Nero into town or a Nero out we've been just crush McDiddling 30s um, so it feels good we're, we're gaining ground we're definitely gaining ground so we're gonna have a few hours in town today I don't know we're gonna get there before noon um, probably spend maybe five hours in town until five um, five hours isn't really going to get us done everything we need to get done. Um, chore wise, it'll at least, at least let us do laundry and do, um, showers, which been about eight days since that, um, 14 plus days since the laundry, eight days since the shower. Um, so that's going to be nice. Internet chores just takes so much time. Um, I'm going to just focus on returning messages and trying to communicate with y'all that, um, if you've been reaching out to me, I haven't been able to because of the cell service. Um, videos, I'll probably maybe try to upload one or two um, just to get us to Marquette, but we shall see. We shall see. So a lot of stuff going on. So little time. Town time. Let's get it. Wow, that surprised me. I did not think Grand Marais had a high school, um, but I guess it's all in one school. Um, elementary and high school and probably middle school too just said elementary and high school where did the middle schoolers go I don't know that very much surprised me I didn't think it was a big enough town but very cute street we've been walking along a lot of cool homes um, 
yeah, definitely a cottage, cottage country town. Nice lake to my right. Um, and the grocery store should be right up there, up yonder. Pushing for it, baby. Pushing for it. Let's get some rest in. Good hard pushes, so we need some uh, maybe four hours, five hours of rest today, which will be nice. Let's get it. So really beautiful kind of like downtown, giant Bayshore Park. Um, there's like little gazebos. Oh, I gotta take a picture of this real quick too. What I was saying is there's little gazebos. There's um, beautiful stuff around here. Oops, I'm gonna cross, I'm gonna cross, I'm gonna cross. Um, there's a little motel right there. Oh. Whoops, there's so many circles around here that every time I walk across the street, another car takes a circle down there. So, cute little park right here. Um, Bayshore Park. And Magpie is sitting underneath this gazebo where I will find her, and then we will find groceries, and we shall find rest. Ooh, there's a food truck. That's interesting. What a cute town. Definitely, definitely a tourism town, but you can see why. We made it to town, baby. We made it to town. Grocery store? Yeah. That's what you're saying. All right, we are on the main strip of Grand Marais, and as you can see, there are, count them, five shops. Grocery store, Outfitters, Brewing Company, Little Corner, corner Store, and then, this says it's a lodge, but I don't know really and i guess there's another post office and that's it that's it all right we're gonna go resupply all right so woodland park um we are here we actually had reservations for this place tonight but with uh pictured rocks permits it's not going to work out so instead we're going to run into the office tell them what's up um get a spot that we can actually stop and charge up all our stuff at and relax. Just uh, kick it for four or five hours, however long we want to. And yeah, just relax. So let's go. Ooh, hopefully they give us a spot in the shade. All right, so we are in Woodland Campground and we are doing a little snackage. Everything pretzels with some cheese dip. Got myself a Mountain Dew. Magpie's got a little uh, Arizona tea. And it's 12.40, and we're starting to get into our town chores. So I got stuff charging on this charge post. This is our camp spot, and stuff charging on that camp post. Um, we're trying to chill for a little bit, but we still have laundry and showers to do. But we also got four hours, so try not to feel super rushed. But, um, yeah. And I'm using this as a Nero hero. Um, we'll go be here until probably five. Um, this was our actual reserved camp spot, but probably not end up using it. And then just mosey out, go to Pictured Rocks, and keep on cruising. So, gonna enjoy some rest and enjoy some food and just chill for a little bit. Cool, cool. Time to get stuff done. All right. Catch up time. It is 4.54. We spent about five hours in that park. Um, perfect. I mean, it was perfect. Got the rest we needed. Got, um, showers. Got fresh laundry. Whoo. That and was... Some drama with one lady who was using all four of the working washing machines at once. There was some drama going on. So we just sat there and gave her the stink eye until her laundry was done. We didn't give her the stink eye. <laughs> so dramatic. I was mentally giving her the stink eye. And rude. Oh, that was the first laundry in like two weeks. So the socks are, oh, it feels glorious. So we Nero'd slash heroed, um, a Nero hero, um, this town. So Grandma Ray doesn't have much. Um, so Literally we didn't. nothing is open right now. Um, I went to go get some food and the tavern, which is like the burger pizza place, 
Literally, there's a sign on the door that says, due to unforeseen circumstances, we are closed today. <laughs> only today. I wonder what the unforeseen circumstances are. I think are. Staff quit. Oh. Uh, so, yeah. We got exactly what we needed. Um, about five hours of rest. Y'all aren't going to notice a difference um, chronicolo chron chronicolo chronologically. Um, but I upload three videos. I uploaded the Kalkaska to campsite video, campsite to... St. Ignacy video and St. Ignacy out video. St. Ignace, baby. St. Ignace. So again, you're not going to notice um, a break, but if this Wi-Fi at the campground wasn't good, um, there would have been a three-day break until we hit Marquette and I was able to upload the video. So y'all aren't going to notice it, but I got that chore done too. Returned very few messages because phone was being utilized the entire time. Um, but got the bare minimum of what we needed done, done. And now we continue hiking to get to our Pictured Rocks campsite tonight, get our Pictured Rocks permit. And about three days outside of Marquette, we're gonna keep crushing. Now that, I don't know, I feel more energy now that I have fresh clothes. So much more energy. I also don't know if we were, have been going the right way the entire time, but we're gonna go with it. So, Nero Hero, baby. Nero Hero. We're just cruising through Michigan. Um, all right, we're going places. Very cool. Ooh, free Mountain Dew. Baby. Ew. You can drink it. You gonna drink the Mountain Dew, baby? She says no. All right, so I have no idea where that trail went. After the boardwalk, it just came straight out to the beach. And usually they have like a blaze in a post around here, but it be could be because we're getting close to pictured rocks, um, if not in it. So at some point we cut back up into there, but for now we walk the coastline. Oh, pretty. Because of the dunes. Those are pretty hefty. Those are pretty big dunes. I bet these sands do, dunes don't have a size complex. The water. You, you could become a diddly Jesus. All right, look for the logs um, coming up. So technically, we are in pictured rocks. Um, you kind of cross it on the beach. These are going to be slippery. You could probably use hands. I did it. Um, so yeah, look for the trail. Leading away from the beach. Um, and that's the NCT. I'm kind of foggy on national park rules and blazing again because we haven't really been through a national park in a while, but they might not allow blazing of trees with uh, the logos, like that blazing, like if there was a rectangle. Um, not the blazing blazing you're thinking of. I'm pretty sure that's illegal in all national parks, but I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, you're not allowed to put the NCT logo up. Yeah, so I don't think you'll see the NCT logo a lot through here, if at all. So. No, I don't think so. Um, but also, there's like really only one trail. So. Yeah, so we're just gonna walk places. All right, so these are probably what we're gonna see. Not blazes on the trees, but, but um, NCT like plaques, yeah. Pretty sweet. Wow, the entrance into the park was like a lot, a lot of stairs. What are we doing? Trails and climbing? Elevation on trails? This is nonsense. <laughs> okay. Oh. Y'all may not know what that noise was about, 
But Magpie does, and if she wants to tell you, no, she can. She doesn't want to tell you. She likes to keep it secret. I'm just saving your... You, uh, no, no. She's saying she's saving your souls because it's in reference to a fun, playful activity. Um, but yes, we go places. Let's walk. Oh, yeah, I didn't think about that before I said it, huh? Mm, that's unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. Yeah, it is unfortunate. Pretty. Oh, bumblebee area. Go, 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 go. If you stop too long, you get bumbled. This is interesting that the it's very thick. Go ahead, get down with the thickness. Bump de bump de bump. Bump 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 bump. I know how excited I am. I know, I know you're very excited. It's so bad. Yeah, it's gonna be rough. Alright, it's gonna actually gonna probably be pretty easy to follow. Just all the inopportune uh times for filming. Every time I want to film, the sun is directly in the lens. But, such is life. I don't know why she's crossing the road. Oh, did I film a sign that said that? Yeah. Huh. But that's a nice big lake. Sable? Grand Sable? Grand Sable. Grand Sable. Oh, this lake. It's a lake does not get the same amount of love. No, it doesn't get the love that Lake Superior does, but it's a pretty lake. It's a nice lake, it's just not Lake Superior. Yeah. So the trail routed us literally this way. Just so that we can have a look at this lake. Yeah, so it wants the North Country Trail hikers to give it love, and we do. Um, and then there's another sign up here that, slide, that talks about logs. Um, I got my own, own uh, dissertation about them, but this one talks about them as well. So let's see what this one says. Oh, yeah, that's what I called one of my research papers, the log slide. Okay, we go places. Hope I didn't film that, might, might have, who knows. Oh, they're clean. Clean pants? Yeah, clean pants. I know. My clothes are clean. So Mass Homestead Campground looks like it's tucked up in there, but um, not many people there, if any, because it's like the one campground that I could see, or campsite, that's not along the dunes. So, of course, people aren't going to do that unless necessary. Still a good spot to get to if you want to do a small mile out of Grand Marais, but we're trying to get onto that Lake Superior living, baby. Um, heading towards Al Sabal. I don't know how much longer. I'm assuming it's like three miles. Um, we'll see. We will see. All right, so this is Log Slide Overlook, and I wish I could do justice with the camera. It is so steep. Um, it's like 500 feet down. Yeah, it's just Pretty close. much straight down, 500 feet. Pretty gnar. Wow, beautiful. Quite a view. I think I see our campsite tonight. It's that light tower over there. Asable? Yeah, it's that point. That's the point that we're going to. You yep. can almost, I don't know on the video, but you can we can see the tower. Yep, you can see the lighthouse. There's a lighthouse. That's our campsite tonight. Nice. Wow. Theater graph. Oh, no. Probably get some film with the signs. So people actually know. That's what it was that we were just filming. Look at this. From, this photo from the bottom actually does it justice. Yeah. But it's steeper than that. Yeah, it's pretty gnar. That could be some good training. If you train on that, you would be an Olympic athlete. The trip if, down takes only a few minutes, but 
often an hour or more back to the top. Rescue personnel are several miles away. Please use common sense during your visit to the log slide. It literally says, please use common sense. Oh, people run it. People actually do run it. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, they're like serious. They're like, don't fuck around on the log slide. Smart. Don't do it. Yeah, don't be an idiot. Wow. That's beautiful. Yeah. Those things are massive. Yeah. I wish I could do some scale, but I don't, I can't scale it. That's a giant lake. And look how giant the dunes look like next to the giant ocean. Lake. Massive, it's an ocean. Oh look, all the way over there, that point. Uh-huh. That's Grand Marais. Oh yeah. Wow, so massive. These dunes are massive. I bet there is. I get. Gu I guarantee there is. Because usually where there's a red lobster, there's an olive garden. Yeah. I would like an apple leader. Ooh, yeah, I could do that too. Mm -hmm. That's how rarely I eat it. That like, like, every time I can remember eating it, I think I've gotten sick. Just find the campsite. Oh, I was hoping it was right on the shore, but I can put up with this. Beautiful. All right, let's go find our campsite. All right, so I think we did right around 27 miles today. As you can see, we took a five-hour break, which is pretty awesome. Um, usually, when you look at the time, we might have two hours of break throughout the day, but today we took that hero. Oh, hero, hero. And, um... Grand Marais, and it felt good. So we're setting up camp like around 8. We got here at like 8.20. We're setting up like around 8.30. So we're in Pictured Rocks, Al Sable. Tomorrow we got all Pictured Rocks hiking, and we'll get to Munsing. We got places to walk. Do, so Do a little bit of resupply, yeah. and then get to some public land just outside of town. Yep. I'm also like... Probably 80% certain that I camped in the exact same place on my bike trip. Pretty awesome. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's been a good day. Really, really good day. Much needed day. Cool, cool. We're going to eat.